really the biggest fault that we deal with these kind of more social disorder issues downtown. And the one comment you made it really resonated with me. I just wanted to respond to it. I think it's quite apropos. Uh, and you said, you know, a lot of the stuff that we do that Dan does and our other community resource officers do is kind of outside our traditional role or it's, it's outside of the roles that, that we're supposed to be doing. Um, the way we look at a lot of these social issues now is that that is actually our role. Um, the way we look at a lot of these social issues now is that that is actually our role. That the community expects that if we have these social disorder issues, even though they're not crimes, right? If you find a needle um, in front of your place, that even though it's not necessarily a crime at that point, it's very disruptive, right? If you find someone yelling and screaming, I mean that may or may not be a crime. It's possibly it's not a crime, uh, but it's still very disruptive uh, to your community. And I just want you to know that. We see ourselves um, trying to create healthy and safe communities by responding to those needs. So uh, we have limited resources. Uh, we can't be everywhere at once. But I can tell you from the officers that work in my division and throughout our, our, our police department, on an individual basis, they really care about the community. And when they hear people say, look, I have concerns about safety and security and police presence, um, it's not perfect. We haven't done it perfectly. But I can tell you on an individual level, the officers really care. And they want to, to give you that confidence that if you have a problem, call us and we'll be there. Um, and if, it, if it's a serious problem, we'll be there quicker. If it's not quite as serious, it doesn't mean that we don't care. We might not be there as quick. But honestly, um, I, I know when, and the mayor's talked about uh, the My Place situation. Um, we had extra officers there for my place. We had to take them from somewhere else and we had to triage them. But it got to the point where a lot of the people said, we actually don't want that many police there right now. Like the kids are wondering, why do we need to have so many police? And it worked out well. And I, I would just mention that by saying, that's the investment we're going to have. Um, we, we don't have unlimited resources, but we want you to leave feeling that we care and that we're invested. And if you're concerned, call us and I can speak with you after. I can give you my card. I get lots of emails every day. Uh, and and we'll, we'll make it work. We really, we really want to make this work and to make now, you so feel safe while, while we're doing it. Them. Thank you. So for a few more minutes if you'd like to come up and talk to them there were a couple of folks who are going to connect specifically with Dominic and with BC Housing so I do welcome you to come up and, and do that and your participation and thank you to the panelists as well